Hey, Earth Signs, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Thursday, May the 7th, 2010. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Moon. All right, Taurus, we have Goddess of the Unknown. It says a new chapter of your life is around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. Okay. What messages do we have for Virgo? All right, Virgo, we got caught. We got God of Conflict Resolution. It says you are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. Okay. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Gonna take the two that came out. So the first one we have is Angel of Psychic Ability. It says your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. And with Angel of the Universe, it says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. The Aquarius also got this. The underlying message we have for all of my earth signs is God of indulgence. It says it's all right, stop beating yourself up. A little indulgence in balance is healthy. Don't overdo it, you know. Everything is good in moderation. That's my little key. Everything is right in moderation. What messages for guidance do we have? This is for Taurus or Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Thursday, May the 7th, 2020. Messages, guidance. For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Thursday, May the 7th, 2020. of cups so i feel like someone's burdened by what they feel on the inside ten of wands here or someone may feel they need to lay down some burdens a uh six of cups here maybe release something of the past could be in a space of balancing out your emotions somebody's ready to release something from the past somebody feels like it's time to let down some burdens um and the surrounding energy queen of cups here could be dealing with the water sign could be dealing with a mother figure ace of cups here you have a new opportunity you've been thinking about a new opportunity um justice here i feel like you're in the space of weighing out some options i feel like you now for some of you guys three of swords justice this could be a separation this could be a severance um especially if there's children involved this can be a separation a severance of some sort but for a lot of you guys, it's necessary because with that page of cups and that ten of wands under there, you may feel as though you may feel like it's time for you to lay down some burdens. All right. So let's see here. We got the six of cups and the present energy wise is here. Nine of pentacles here. Some of you guys are ready to gain independence from a past situation. Ten of swords here, two of swords. You're ready to embrace the end of a stalemate. Um, dealing with the past situation, world card, no longer, you don't want to be in it, you don't want to be stuck anymore. I feel like you got some mental conflicts, needing to be confident about embracing the end of something. Some of you guys need to let go of some memories of the past so that you can really focus on the here and now. We got three of swords here. Okay, so we have the three of wands here with the four of cups and the tower. Some of you guys have been waiting a long time. You feel like now is the time for you to lay down the burdens. You've been waiting a long time trying to have patience with the situation, but you've been unhappy. And I feel like you're realizing that now. It may be heartbreaking to you to realize that you are so unhappy within this situation. So for a lot of you guys, you're really covering your eyes and you're doing what is right. No longer doing what it what looks right, but you're doing what is right for the situation. Meaning, I always tell people all the time, if you're in a relationship and you're not happy, Understand 100% your partner is not happy. Your partner may pretend to be happy, may ignore the fact that you're not happy to save face. But if one person is not happy in a relationship, the other person is not happy because relationships are reciprocal. Um, if you got one person happy and one person ain't, that one person that is happy most definitely got another something else that is making them happy. It doesn't have to be another person, but they have something that is creating that happiness that is supposed to come from you. And what I'm seeing here is this may have been a one-sided type of connection, not reciprocal connection. Someone may even be heartbroken again because they waited so long to move away from this. But someone feels like it's time for them to lay down the burdens of this tower. There's this lightning striking in somebody's head. So we have Queen of Cups here in the surrounding energy. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? Three of Cups here. Six of Cups. Someone from your past may still be holding on. Six Swords here, Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys... 
I got a lot of sixes here. So this is about reevaluating the situation. That may be why you got the, the the justice scales out. You're weighing out the pros and cons. I feel like you got a new opportunity here. And I feel like that's what you want to move forward to. But someone may be in a space, again, of holding on to you or holding on to something they feel is of value. It may be something that makes them happy. Um, but from what I'm seeing, it does not make you happy. I feel like you're dealing with someone that is selfish or that is selfishly holding on to you. So some of you guys are really wanting to separate from that, making a decision 666 to move forward. You've reevaluated the connection. We got the Ace of Cups in the subconscious. Queen of Wands here. Seven of Pentacles here, Six of Wands. So some of you guys are ready to move forward and invest in something new. Ace of Cups under here again. So I'm trying to tell you. Eight of Cups here, Three of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys are walking away and severing a connection to go toward a new opportunity here. Um, I feel like you have been underestimating yourself because you're really trying to act with integrity. You're trying to, you know, be fair about it. But I feel like, again, like I said, for some of you guys, you've been... In order to be fair about a situation, you got to basically cover up your field of vision. You can't see what you're weighing. You have to weigh by what you feel. And if you're weighing by what you feel, whatever this is in the past, Four of Cups made you unhappy. So you're going to cut this away. Why is this justice here? Eight of Pentacles here. Full energy, what I tell you, page of cups. Some of you guys are going to take a leap of faith towards something new. You're going to make the decision. When you put that blindfold on and you weigh things out the way that it's supposed to be weighed, not by your vision, not by what you think is supposed to happen, but literally weigh it out by the worth. Whatever's not worth your energy, whatever's not worth you investing your time in, that is what you are severing. And for a lot of you guys, you are severing a connection because you've been dealing with someone that is out for themselves for me to get the nine of cups not the nine of cups together i got the six of cups and the three of cups so this is a third party from the past or someone that you've dealt with in the past that is self-loving um drinking from their own cup very selfish some of you guys are really wanting to move away from that you feel like it's a burden and you don't want to deal with it so some of you guys are severing a connection there is a separation that is happening let's see what messages we have this is for Thursday. No. What messages do we have moving forward? This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance? All right, Taurus, we got to take charge of this situation with priorities. So some of you guys have some priorities that you need to take charge of right now. What messages do we have for Virgo? We got trust. Right now, Virgo, you need to trust that you're moving with the flow of prosperity, okay? Messages for Capricorn. Capricorn, we got to come out of the closet. So this is about being open about something. All of the underlying, all of the underlying, the underlying message for all of my earth signs is detached from drama. So while you're in the process of taking charge, coming out of the closet and trusting the process of whatever situation you're dealing with, you're also in the space of, again, detaching from anything that is within low vibration. This is all I have until next time.